In this video, we are going to visit the Alcatraz prison and island in San Francisco. Not only Alcatraz is a perfect destination for anyone interested in history, but you will also find a seabird colony on Alcatraz Island. In addition, Alcatraz also offers beautiful views of San Francisco and the Golden Gate Bridge. The Alcatraz Island is located in San Francisco Bay, 1.25 miles offshore from San Francisco, California. The small island was developed with the facilities for a lighthouse, a military fortification, a military prison, and a federal prison from 1934 until March 21, 1963. Visiting the Alcatraz Island is one of the most rewarding experiences of any trip to San Francisco. However, visitors who wish to visit the prison and island grounds must secure reservations. My best tip for visiting the Alcatraz, take the first ferry to Alcatraz in the morning. To begin with, you need to take the very first ferry of the day. When I booked my ticket, they were called early bird ticket. They cost just as much as a regular day ticket. The Alcatraz prison was home to notorious gangsters such as the Al Capone, Machine Gun Kelly and so many others. This small island was once a fort, a military prison, and a maximum security federal penitentiary. In 1969, the Indians of all tribes occupied Alcatraz for 19 months in the name of the Freedom and Native American Civil Rights. The Alcatraz was able to house 450 convicts in cells that measured about 10 feet by 4.5 feet, 3 meters by 1.5 meters. No more than 250 prisoners ever occupied the island at one time. Escape attempts were rare and most escapes relied on secrecy and subterfuge to reach the perceived freedom of the waters of San Francisco Bay. Frank Morris and brothers John and Clarence Anglin were able to escape from their cells and leave the island in a makeshift raft. It remains unknown what happened to them after entering San Francisco Bay. Fourth inmate Annan West did not manage to escape his cell in time to join the others and decided to abort his escape attempt. The escape was marked by elaborate planning and execution, including crafting dummy heads to fool the guards, making of improvised tools, and of a raft. In 1979, the FBI officially closed their investigation, concluding that the men drowned in the frigid waters of San Francisco Bay while trying to reach land. Visiting the Alcatraz is partially a self-guided experience which you can do at your own pace. National Park Service staff and volunteers offer free interpretive programs throughout the day. Once on the island, you can stay as long as you wish. Every half an hour, ferries depart from the Alcatraz Island to San Francisco. I recommend at least two to three hours to fully visit the island. 
There are numerous videos and exhibits on the island, as well as the Cell House audio tour, which is included in the price of the ferry ticket. On arriving at the Alcatraz dock, you will be greeted by a National Park Service representative who will give you a brief orientation including information on any special activities available that day. The only way to visit the Alcatraz is to take one of the ferries operated by the City Experiences Company. Other bay cruisers may include a trip past or around Alcatraz, but they don't let you get off on the island. The boats leave from Pier 33 on the San Francisco Embarcadero, the waterfront boulevard running from Fisherman's Wharf to the ferry building. Pier 33 is also called Alcatraz Landing. I hope you enjoyed this video. I invite you to click on the thumbnail that's showing on your screen and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.